I'd like to call to order the Hatfield Township Board of Commissioners workshop meeting uh, for April 13, 2022. Roll call. President Zipfel. Here. Vice President Rogers. Here. Commissioner Andrus. Here. Commissioner Lees. Here. Commissioner Zimmerman. Here. I would like to ask our solicitor, Kristen Pianzio, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance this evening. All right, is there a motion for approval of tonight's agenda? <clears throat> so moved. Motion by Vice President Rogers, second by Commissioner Lees. Uh, all in favor of approving the agenda that's before you say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, uh, we can move forward with the agenda before us. Citizens' comments. Any citizens' comments on agenda items? All right, not seeing any citizens' comments. We're going to move on to our consent items. Is there a motion to enter into the record the consent items listed in your agenda? By Commissioner Zimmerman. Second. Second by Commissioner Andrus. The uh, consent items include the police report for the month of March and the North Penn Water Authority meeting minutes of February 22. And, yeah. and so with that, I'll call the question. All in favor of moving those into the record, say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, that is approved. We're going to jump right into committee reports. And first is Planning and Zoning Committee, Vice President Rogers. Thank you. Uh, the first item is the land development for Mannheim Auto Auction at 3212 Berge Road. Discussion? Mr. Amy, do you have that? Yes, thank you, Commissioner Rogers. Uh, this is a land development application which is proposed by Mannheim Marketing, um, and it is for approximately 10 acre property adjacent to their recon facility on Bethlehem Pike. Uh, star, the star is the location of the, uh, the current recon facility just north of Berge Road and right along Bethlehem Pike. Uh, here you can see the total parcel. It's a very oddly shaped tract which is made up of three parcels all the way out to Township Line Road, back out to 309, and along, along the, the existing uh, recon facility which sits right in about here. The proposal is to develop that 10 acres for approximately 800 um, car, uh, car spaces for storage spaces, not, not for um, parking, sp traditional parking spaces. And the, the access will be through the existing recon facility. There will be a deeded easement that will run through the existing recon facility to the new area, which will be developed for, for parking. There will be a basin installed as well, and there will be landscaping installed around the perimeter and around the basin. Uh, there are a substantial number of trees that, that need to come down because it is a fully wooded site. Um, that you'll see that um, the majority of the, uh, the waiver uh, requests are for involve the, um, the existing trees. The, um, all the access will come off of the existing facility on Bethlehem Pike. There will be no new access to Berge Road, Bethlehem Pike, or Township Line Road. That was a condition imposed by the Zoning Hearing Board when, when Mannheim went to the Zoning Hearing Board to have the use approved for the site. The, um, Montgomery County Planning Commission has reviewed the application. They found that the application was consistent with its goals and objectives. They support the proposal. They do note the need for landscaping wa waivers. Um, Keystone Municipal Services are, um, are building and ADA inspectors and, and reviewers have, have approved the application. Uh, McMahon, our traffic engineer, has reviewed the application and has noted that there will be no traffic impact fee due as a result of this project. Actually, what will happen is that the existing uh, the cars that are going to be placed on this site are cars that are currently parked on the old Eastern Pre-Stressed uh, Concrete property at 3030 Unionville Pike. The uh, Mannheim leases land from 
from the owner of that property and that lease will expire when it expires those cars will then move over to this site so there will no longer be a need to move them from one side to another or from one facility to another so there will actually be a reduction in trips as a result of this county conservation district has accepted the application as complete uh, the fire marshal has has uh, recommended approval the planning commission has recommended approval along with the requested waivers and the uh, the board's planning and zoning subcommittee has also discussed and recommended approval so there are a few waivers um, but as i say the the majority of the of the um, i think the the major waiver is for the replacement trees and the um, there are a couple of minor waivers for the stormwater facility and um, there is a waiver for the combination of preliminary and final plan approval so other than that the uh, the project is is ready for your approval uh, we expect that within the next two weeks we would work out any remaining details Ms. Pianzio's office will put together the approval resolution and um, and it will be ready for the board to take action on the 27th um, uh, this evening would be your opportunity to ask any questions you might have Dan Rowley is the attorney representing Mannheim and there is also a representative from Kimley Horn the civil engineering firm who prepared the plan and I believe there's a representative from uh, from Mannheim as well so uh, if, if the board has any questions they're all here and available for for you Num number of spots again approximately 800 you might be 795 so is there only one way in and out yes there is there's only one way in and out it's through the existing facility no emergency uh, route is required for being that far now, Mike Waldron looked at it and he he didn't feel there was an emergency route necessary although there is there there is a potential for um, access through the Georgia's tool rental property there is um, there is a temporary access that's being granted by Georgia's and uh, and there's there's a potential for if there is any need for an emergency access to be able to come through that property how many trees are coming down the total replacement tree number is 523 waiver stipulate request is the, the waiver request is is to waive the entire quantity of replacement trees um, and that was reviewed in detail by uh, by CKS and also by McCloskey and Faber and actually the the latest review letter from McCloskey and Faber which we just received this morning recommends granting that waiver um, Kim Flanders acknowledges that there is no place on the site that those trees can be placed <clears throat> Commissioner yep. to j just remember the waiver means that there'd be a contrib contribution involved where then the township can plant trees parts of the township so the, there, there is an opportunity for for us to improve us. so we would get the the expectation is that the township would get the monetary equivalent of the co the value of the 523 trees and then it would be left to us to determine where we would want to use that you know, trees at other locations bushes shrubbery whatever restrictions on us there's a lot of examples throughout the township on how these contributions have been reinvested into the community Rick's trail is a, is a, is a great uh, very visible as well as countless others pervious cover I don't know the exact percentage perhaps Matt from Kimley Horn would have that number um, I know it's well within the limit well within limit that means that if you take most of those if not all the trees down the impervious cover is where trees are not no where they are but places that don't have trees we're not developing they'll be they'll remain well, the entire site that's being developed is a, is wooded so any any development on the site necessitates 
People removal. People that don't know where uh, Georgia to rental is? Not the portion all the way out by Bethlehem Pike, but next to George's tool rental, that that portion is cut off by a uh, by a Pico easement, so it's not it's not possible for them to to get out to that that portion of the site. That section remain. Uh, yes. And I, what's where's the uh, the access point again? Um, I think it's on the next slide. It's. Yeah, the the existing facility is right, is right in here, right. and there will be a deeded access that will come through the existing facility down to this point. Okay, and then this this is the area that would would be developed for the parking, and you can you can see the the tree line. You can see that this is all heavily wooded. That's where the parking lot's going, right? Yes. Number is. There we go. there be any kind of trees or shrubbery as buffers along the roadways that it touches? But there was it'll nothing. Be, it'll be unimproved along 309, right? It'll be unimproved along all three road frontage, frontages. Oh, okay. Maybe I, I'm sorry. I missed that. I didn't yeah, realize that was, it was That unimproved. was a concern. There were residents out the night of the zoning hearing, and the concern from the residents was, was that there would they, they did not want any additional access points to right. Right. Bergy Township Line or Bethlehem Pike, <laughs> and the applicant agreed that there would be no no improvements on any of those frontages. Oh, okay. So coming northbound on 309, will be a lot of left-hand turn. Is there a traffic light there, or is that uh, left-hand turn is your own? No, I believe you'd have to go up and around the jug handle. So the residents across the street there really won't notice any material difference in sight in their in their. Now we were we were mainly concerned about the residents on Bergy. There are there are a um, there's a strip of residential <clears throat> excuse me residential homes along Bergy Road, directly opposite where this property is located. <clears throat> right. And and they they were out at the hearing and they were concerned about any access and and the applicant then agreed that there would be no access at all and no improvement. And no improvement. So their their view shouldn't really change. It won't change a bit. All right, commissioners, any other questions at this point? Residents, any questions? All right, um, do I get a consensus to move it at least to the next agenda? We'll have everyone have two weeks to make inquiry and uh, then we'll have another round of final questions before a decision is made. Yeah. Okay, Aaron, if you can uh, move <coughs> that to the next agenda, thank you for coming out. We get to see you again though, so. A couple of weeks from now. <coughs> okay, the second item is Cowpath and Ravilla finalizing the project and discuss sale of parcels. Have that or is that? We're actually going to let uh, our solicitor explain the situation to the board, Vice President Rogers. Okay, so as we all know, we've realigned our Villa Road. In order to do that, the township bought what we all called the Munchnik parcel, which was the gas station, as well as three residential properties uh, behind that. Um, now that the road has been installed, it's time for us to dispose of the leftover land. So we want to advertise as required under the first class township code, the sale of these properties um, this parcel here is um, what we all know as Vinny's. Uh, that parcel has a lease on top of these, the remaining parcels right here, these three. Uh, he has a lease for the use of those properties. It comes with it, the maintenance of the basin that was installed by PennDOT here. 
Um, so that parcel would be sold subject to a 99 year lease. Uh, we negotiated that lease when we needed the right of way along the frontage of the Tosco parcel for the widening and for the um, traffic signal equipment. Also, we have this leftover piece over here. Um, these two together will be sold. Um, they are subject to a requirement that parking be installed on those parcels. Um, these leftover pieces here will be absorbed into the township parkland, which is uh, back here, which they are adjacent to. So we just need authorization to put the documents together. We'll advertise them as required. I'll fill out the agreements of sale subject to the terms that I just discussed. So anyone who would like to bid on those parcels can do so. Um, it's likely we won't have much of an audience for the purchase of these par properties and probably the owner of this parcel would be most interested. So we have to go through the process though publicly so that everyone has an opportunity to bid. So it's publicly bid, but then am I correct that uh, there's always a caveat that for we retain the right to reject all bids at some point in the process? Correct, always. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm, uh, it's a bid process at this point. That's where we're moving towards. Questions or concerns? All right, so do we need to move that to an agenda or we just move the process along? Uh, you can just move the process along. It'll be public. As bids come in, they'll come here for your review and approval. So if you just authorize us to get started, we can do that. I need to take a motion. Yes. Okay, so is there a motion to authorize the public bidding process for the properties previously described by our solicitor? So moved. moved. By, uh, Vice President Rogers, second by Commissioner Lees. Uh, all in favor of that motion say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, that motion is approved. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that's it for the night. Thank you. All right. Public Works Committee, Commissioner Lees. Nothing to report, Mr. President. Parks and Recreation Committee, Commissioner Zimmerman. Quite a bit. Earth Day is coming up. Uh, we're going to recognize it next Saturday, April the 23rd. And residents will be able to recycle their hazardous materials or shred personal documents at our Earth Day sites. Each site collects different items at the public works complex. It'll be yard waste and cardboard, tree branches, tires, air conditioning, refrigerators, appliances, vehicle batteries, metal pots and pans, and shredding. Earth, it'll be um, household hazardous waste like paint thinners and insecticides, oils, electronics, and batteries, limit one television. And we've got some volunteer opportunities available. Just call the township building and um, say you want to volunteer and, and we'll get you set up. On the 24th, the next day, we're going to have a spring scavenger hunt 5K run. Starts at 9 o'clock at the School Road Park. And this is our kickoff for the Hatfield 5K race series. With this new fun-filled race, it's, you can run the 3.1 miles straight through, or you can participate in a spring scavenger hunt throughout the race. It's a great race to run with a group of friends, your coworkers, family members, or challenge yourself. And participants will receive a medal and a stemless wine glass. Register for all three races and collect three different cups in the series. And register at runtheday.com. Event recap, we did have a March pop-up event for St. Patrick's Day over at the Arboretum. Um, Ashley says thanks to everyone who came out and participated. We had over 300 kids. She, she expected maybe half that, and um, it was great. They hunted for leprechaun gold, uh, crafts, games, snacks, and music included. An eye out on the website or the Facebook page for the next pop-up event. are continuing with our programs, our exercise programs. We have a Get Fit class, Dr. Drill Instructor Program, the Beach Muscle Hustle. Sounds cool. It's already started April 2nd to August 25th, Saturdays 8 to 9.30 at School Road Park, $100 a person. Get Fit Pound begins in May, May 3rd to June 7th, Tuesday evening, 7.30, School Road Park Amphitheater, $60 a person. Get Fit Remix, April 25th to May 23rd, Mondays 7 to 8, uh, here in the administration building at $50 a person. Get Fit Zumba, April 24th to May 22nd, Sundays 9 to 10 a.m., $50 a person. And 
our special um, series of uh, bringing in guests, we have a Ready, Set, Medicare workshop. Steve Perlman will provide information and education to help you make the right choices about Medicare, Thursday, April 21st, 6.30 to 8, uh, here in the administration building at 3. Our story time series for April, the featured book is When Spring Comes by Kevin Hanks. Registration is $5, includes the storybook and activity kit. Pick up the books and the kits between April Email pictures of the family reading and completed activities to storybook at Hatfield.org by the 22nd. Pickleball, everybody's favorite, is coming back. Registration is now opened. Um, now it's indoors, so it's, it's from March 21st until June 3rd. Mondays and Fridays, 9.30 to 12. Wednesdays, 12.30 to 3 at the XL Sports World. $35 residents, $50 non-residents. So it'll be coming back outside then. Um, and we're going to have some specialty camps this summer. Young Inventors Camp, Junior Physicians Academy, Challenger Sports and International Soccer Camp, Cal Sports Basketball Camps, and all the dates and times and details and fees are available at Hatfield.org. And our summer camp already sold out. Summer. All right. It's a good list. Spring, and we'll have even more in the summer. So, uh, all right, we're going to move on to Public Safety Committee. Uh, nothing to report this evening. Finance Committee, Commissioner Anders. I do not have anything to report. All right, moving right along. We are at the Township Manager's Report. We're going to skip that because we don't want to hear that notice. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to move. <laughs> all right, we'll give him his opportunity to make his, his, his announcement. This is an awkward uh, agenda item for me here. Um, no, truthfully, I... Um, not going to say many words at all tonight, commissioners. We've talked a bunch. Uh, I have nothing but love for the Hatfield community, and I'll be here for another few months. Uh, like everything in local government, things move slowly, yeah, even even the process of, of replacing a manager. So we're we'll begin uh, working with the commissioners of uh, searching for a, uh, a replacement uh, to come and serve as the, as the township manager. And I'll, I'll save my lengthier uh, words for my last meeting, which will be in uh, May-ish, May-June. We'll, we'll see how the process goes, but... 2024, May-ish, <laughs> 2024. <laughs> I've, I have nothing but great things to say about Hatfield, and I, I, will, I will share those thoughts and, and much more uh, in a few months, but uh, we have to go through a process in, in government, and. Uh, this is the formal notice, and, and the commissioners will now uh, begin advertising and, and interviewing for a, uh, a township manager here in Hatfield, which is a, a great place to be. Now that I'm resigning, I'm actually going to apply for the police chief position. Curveball, I didn't tell you guys. Well, about your it. termination begins in about five minutes. So, uh, <laughs> I was, thought I, was overqualified. I, I thought there was going to be a flip flop of responsibilities. Is that how we're going to do love, this? I would love that if we could. Well, as I could take the, my pay with me, I'll be more than happy to accept your <laughs> kind offer. <laughs> Boss, right now, just go. Right. Start just, napping just change seats. Yeah. <laughs> <what I'm saying? laughs> just change seats. I, I, was, I was about to entertain a motion to reject the entire uh last two and a half minutes of the meeting uh, <laughs> and moves. to remove it from the video and to never let it be seen heard again <laughs> strike the record that's right yeah. strike, the record. strike the record so moved <laughs> we will we will allow him to entertain this fanciful thought uh, uh, for some short period of time and but we will then get get uh, get get his uh, mind back on the rails in the near future so uh all right um as you can imagine, we have a couple of things to say on your last meeting too. <laughs> no need. Yeah, uh, yeah. It might it might start with something related to the Eagles, but I don't know. Um, all right, solicitor's report. Feel free to jump in in this heckling, by the way. <laughs> Unlike the manager, I'm causing no problems here this evening. <laughs> <laughs> That's a first. For sure. <laughs> citizens' comments. Any citizens' comments on uh, non-agenda items? Yes, sir. You, yes, you do. Okay. My name is Dale Ott. I'm at 246 Mill Road, Hatfield. Uh, while the mailing address is Hatfield, I actually am in Hilltown Township. I'm here tonight to uh, just to bring notice to, uh, to the board of um, a development process that's going on across the street. I represent a group of individuals 
uh, who are opposed to uh, what's going on on the, um, you know what the, the venue at Hilltown, I guess you've heard of it before. It's uh, across the street um, by the, um, on Swartley Road, between Swartley Road and 309. Um, I actually have brought some plans if I could give them to the. Yeah, sure. Do you have um, multiple? Definitely going to want to give one to the, the township. Property across from Wawa? Uh, no. no. Okay. I can. I think we have it on this shot here. Um, it's it's out, it's on the Hilltown side of the on the street. Yeah. Right there at Swirly Road. Um, now this particular it, this was brought up to the. I think uh, it's this just before just before you continue just so we're all on the same page. I think it's this piece right here. Can, can you confirm that? Because. Swirly Road's across from Sterling. Is, is it the, the green space right here, sir? Directly right. across from Sterling the, um, there. And that was the reason I'm, I was here tonight. Um, I don't want to get into the, all the reasons why we don't agree with this. We simply, we simply think it's not the size nor the place for this type of, of facility. Swirly Road is not much bigger than a, a horse trail, and 309 is something that the uh, state classifies as a highway. Um, <clears throat> their most recent plan uh, now is pushing out uh, all the traffic for this development out on 309 at the Sterling Road um, light that's there. And we would just thought maybe you'd have some concerns that now this traffic that's coming out there is now going to be diverted straight down um, Sterling Drive, maybe to come over to Unionville and go through the industrial park. Right. Um, right now, the, um, you know, we have concerns that the only reason that that stoplight changes right now is if somebody comes out of Sterling Drive and wants to make a left onto 309, or somebody might come out of Helm Fence uh, property. But introducing all these, I th I don't please don't quote me on this number. I believe the last time they did a traffic study on this, there was, I believe, a thousand trips per day is what they had had perceived. Um, <clears throat> and this construction is townhomes, I'm assuming, based on what we're looking at in these yes. prints. Yes. Um, but they're also in the process of developing the PC1 property that's in, in front there that consists of the bar, uh, all the way from the bar, all the way from Helm Fence down to the um, office furniture place. Right. So there's also right. going to be additional traffic for that. We th I thought you might be concerned, like I said, with the amount of traffic that might be diverted down Sterling, Sterling Road because well, the bigger question is, is how many times that stoplight stops, and now we all, we all know 309's a mess, um, but that might introduce uh, a lot more congestion and, and whatnot to, to everybody. Um, the, the proposal is for uh, over four times the current zoning of, of houses required there. They're, it's a typical situation that they're trying to put 20 pounds of junk into a five pound bag, and, and that's why there's a lot of uh, uh, citizens concerned. But I just wanted to bring it to your attention. Like I said, there, there may be something that the township may have a problem with as far as the traffic being diverted straight through Sterling, maybe out to Unionville, uh, Unionville Pike or whatnot. So. No, we appreciate your bringing it to our attention as it's right on the fringe of our township. Um, right. Quick question. Um, do you know where they are in the process? They <clears throat> are currently going to go in front of their planning board. Uh, they, they're submitting uh, a rewrite of the ordinance and uh, they have set a, a sketch plan, but uh, they are going to be in the process of um, reviewing it at the, at the Planning Commission. Te uh, a tentative hearing date is set for June 7th, I believe, uh, at the, the Hilltown uh, Township for this whole ball of wax. Um, Okay. No, this is great. Thank you. We appreciate your giving us the heads up. And if you didn't bust on him, I was going to actually come up here and suggest, you know, you guys can put a motion up to, and I'll disapprove it for him leaving. So, so <laughs> oh, some, somebody beat me to it. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. We've, uh, we're coming up with rather, rather clever ways to try and stop this. That about this new development. That's why, that's why I'm leaving. But this <laughs> that's right. It's really bothering me. <laughs> that's it. That's quite all right. Thank, thank you. <laughs> One of the things that we were considering is having our solicitor file an injunction against him from leaving, physically, like the building, and then yeah. that would make it impossible for him to go, <laughs> which I just wanted you to know that that's, in, that's uh, being sounds, considered. Sounds, sounds fun. Yep, take it as a compliment. <laughs> just, a question about Sterling Drive traffic light. Is that a shared maintenance agreement with Hilltown? 
works for us? No, that's that's Hatfield's. Hatfield's traffic yeah, light? That's Hatfield's. We do share several of the signals with our uh, our municipal neighbors, but Hilltown, we, we've never memorialized any of those. So the ones on the Hilltown border are Hatfield's. <laughs> no, we we understood. We understood the uh, your the purpose in your presentation. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Um, all right. Any other citizens' comments? All right. Then the county manager is failing. You need to announce that we had an executive session. Uh, oh. Perhaps like that's actually the solicitor's room responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's my and my responsibility to announce. So yeah, we um, as you can imagine, we had a uh, an executive session uh, before today's meeting to discuss personnel. And so thank you, uh, Chief. And I think you have just demonstrated <laughs> your <laughs> acumen to be a township manager. Uh, so I agree. He's overqualified. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, unless there's something else for the good of the order, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Is there such a motion? So moved. Motion by uh, Commissioner uh, Andrus, second by uh, Vice President Rogers. Uh, all in favor of adjournment say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, we're adjourned. Thanks for coming out, folks.